I just picked this up at Staples. Today is November 15th, the official release date. Even though Amazon started to ship it a day earlier, I picked up about 2.15, 2 uh, no line, no whatever, just walked right in. Uh, they actually said it came in about 20 minutes before I walked in. There was one other guy who also got it at that time. Look at the picture in the back. They talk about uh, vibrant colors, touchscreen, entertainment, free cloud, high speed web browser, and the App Store, Apple's App Store, not uh, excuse me, Amazon App Store, not uh, Apple App Store. Okay, basically, I guess you pull this. Well, just open this up, and again, Amazon, pretty basic, like this. Down. Let's see. Oh. Okay. And there it is. It's basically, this is a little get started. Uh, my understanding is pretty basic. Just plug it in if you want to charge it up. Swipe it. Okay. Uh, the uh, fire has some cell phone and the power supply the power supply is just plug into the uh, the usb uh, b connector mini b connector of the unit uh the power supply let me take a look is 100 to 220 volts so it's good when you travel and it output five volts at 1.8 amps which is quite a bit so um so it helps charge up pretty quickly. That's why I guess you can charge it up from a pretty much exhausted in um, in four hours. Okay, I I just powered up. Uh, this is not pre-registered because uh, I bought it from Staples, not from Amazon. Uh, as I just said, I originally ordered one from um, Amazon, but I ordered late in October, and. Um, um, they started to ship yesterday a day early, but because I was waiting uh, down the bottom line, it looks like uh, it was going to be a few more days, especially with the shipping time. So I just walked into Staples. I verified on my iPod um, with the free internet they have at Staples that uh, they didn't ship mine yet. I canceled the shipping and I bought it right then and there. Same price, same everything. Okay, so today as you can see it's Tuesday, November 15th. Turn on. Welcome to Kindle Fire. Thank you for blah blah blah. It's telling me uh, the internet connections, but uh, um, my basically is not uh, broadcast. So uh, I'll set it up and then I'll come back. And when I come back, I'll also tell you a little bit why I chose the uh, Kindle over, say, something like the uh, uh, iPad. Okay, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's now asking for my. I put in my Wi Fi information. Now it's asking for the time zone, Eastern time zone. Uh, continue. Let's see. Verifying registration. Enter Amazon account info. Okay, uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, now it's basically saying welcome, my name, and uh, the updating the software. Yeah, I read Amazon. Um, there's an update um, to the software, and uh, they said it would take uh, a couple seconds. Okay, uh, it just um, it just. We install, install the program and power down and rebooting and it says install, installing update. Uh, it sounds like it uh, has to reboot just like uh, Windows. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, oh yeah, I saw this. It tells you a little bit about what to do here. Here are a few tips to help you get started. Navigate bar, but of course it's just a picture. So you go to next. Uh, talks about the carousel, of course about the favorite. They want to make this as uh, easy as possible. Quick settings, set up your settings. Home button to get your home button. Okay, and I guess we're over. And it says, well, Michael's Kindle. All right, let's see or the, the user manual. Uh, see what this is, the carousel. Welcome. Let's see. Oh, it's a little letter from uh, uh, Jeff. Yep. Jeff at um, Amazon. Okay, how do I get back now? Okay, home. Um, and, and these are the Kindle books that uh, I previously, previously uh, purchased. Uh, most of them are free. Uh, this Death by China is kind of interesting. Uh, it's free, I would get it. 
Um, and one reason why I, I like Kindle in that a Kindle, you can read a Kindle book on just about anything. You can read it on the, of course, now you can read it on the Kindles. You can read it on the PC. You can read it on a Mac. You can read it on a, on a iPod, Apple, iPod Touch, on an iOS phone, Android phones. You can read it on everything. Uh, I, I originally got interested in mobile devices when the first iPad came out. But when I looked into it, it was just too big uh, to be mobile. And it wasn't powerful enough to be a real computer. I already had a small uh, computer for traveling. So I felt that the iPod Touch was perfect for me. Do email, web browsing, apps, everything you wanted. Um, and then, you know, maybe in my, I remember my little brother telling me he would like to buy an iPad, you know, just so he can sit on the couch and uh, browse, you know, surf the internet. And, but $500 is just way too expensive for a little toy, but this is under $200. Um, and also everybody talks about how, well, this doesn't have 3G. Well, the 3G is a $130, $129 option uh, on the uh, iPod iPad, excuse me, and, we'll pl and plus you have to pay a monthly fee. But, uh, I didn't bother to get an iPhone because uh, I don't use the phone that much. Um, I, I'm on a T-Mobile page ago and I spend about less than $100 a year. That's a year, not a month. Uh, so anyhow, so it, it loaded up my previous uh, books that I already had. It already loaded up the database for movies, Facebook, some other stuff. I guess that's it there. Uh, let's see, newsstand is probably empty. Oh, oh newsstand is just my books. Oh, that's books. Uh, okay, let's go back to home. Home, newsstand. Nope, nothing in my newsstand. Uh, apps. I'm curious to see what apps it has. Okay, uh, Pandora, which I remember, comics, books, ESPN, the Weather Channel, which is good. Um, contacts, email, blah, blah, blah. Another nice thing about the uh, App Store at App, um, Apple, keep saying Apple, at Amazon, you get a free app a day. Uh, uh, yesterday I downloaded the um, word processing. Uh, if I if you disagree with anything I said or you have your own opinions, please leave a comment. Uh, you know, please be civil. I want to show you one more thing. Um, let me go back to home. Okay. Um, before, a couple of days ago, I signed up for the free uh, iCloud at uh, Amazon. Um, the nice thing about their iCloud is that you can, again, access it on anything, on a PC, on a Mac, on um, uh, a Kindle, and I'm not too sure about the Androids, but uh, probably, and not too sure about the uh, Apple devices, uh, like the iPhone and stuff. But anyhow, I uploaded the music, but not really music, it's more of um, a Chinese lesson. Um, so it's on the cloud. So, and there it is. Uh, it's a little Chinese lesson, intermediate, the come on. And uh, see, I select it. And I guess I hit play. And I think this is streaming, it's not really downloading Hi, yet. I think this is probably to download it. Download, yeah, I won't download it. Because uh, all this is at home, anyhow. One thing. Um, yeah, I was concerned about, not really concerned, I was just wondering that this lesson, Chinese lesson, actually, actually uh, has, let me pause it, actually has um, embedded as lyrics the, um, the Chinese characters, the Chinese phonetic, and English translation, and players like the one on, on uh, iOS's devices, if you enable it, maybe there's something here to enable it, I'll look into it, uh, it would actually display it here. And you can see, uh, you know, besides just listening to it, I can see the actual phonetic uh, the Chinese characters in English translation. Uh, it works on the uh, the uh, the uh, the MP MPEG player for the iOS devices, you know, iPhone and my uh, iPod Touch, and I'm sure the um, iPad it would display it, and also the media player and Windows displays it. Um, uh, so I may um, just want to let you know, and this is straight from the cloud. Um, this is part of your 5 gig storage, but uh, all your apps and stuff you buy from Amazon is free on there. It's basically, it's not, not on your cloud, it's on their cloud, because everybody has who buys it has the same copy, uh, unless they have a newer one, you may have an older one, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, uh, one last thing. I want to show you the um, the web. Um, the first time I'm reusing it, you go to web. Supposedly the web is supposed to be faster, and let's try... Um, I don't know, ESPN. 
and see how fast it loads. Of course, this might be cheating because who knows? They may have it set up already for this. Well, I don't know if that's fast or not. It looks pretty fast. Uh, okay, again, uh, leave your comments and um, good or bad, agree or disagree. Uh, all right, talk to you later. Have fun.